this here hook happens to be a six I mean six out salt water you can use what you want you can cut this down to that smaller size such as that cut that at a little angle leave it open in here once you finish and have a cup and excuse me that'll throw water all over the place now if you're going to use the whole one here again these are just pencil poppers you can pick up Walmart office supply stores if you want a cup on there you can cut it cup it and let's say I wanted to uh, make a cup on this one make a nice little slider you wouldn't have to cut it you can also make a little slice down in the back there on these longer shank have that come back a little bit and once you get it all on there and fixed up you can put a little super glue you really don't even need that because you can have hot melt glue holding that together this one here since I got that cut in there, let me go ahead and seal it up. You can change your mind. Watch the glue on your finger. Okay, that's going to wind up sealing up. What we're going to do, this should be done on the bench. I'm going to do it here for you so you can see it. You really don't need anything. This should be a hot melt glue. and you can warm up your hook there help it to hold hot melt glue would be about 300 degrees you can warm your hook up a little bit with your variable temp heat gun one reason you don't want to do this on vice get that all over then you gotta clean all that off hold that on for a little bit not too much because you also want to get some on there if you're not confident in this make one up pencil poppers you can get a pack of them for 25 I think for about five bucks down there at Wally World you can wet your finger smoother out like I said you can get a pack of these about oh under five dollars get 24 25 of them and get that back where you want it I missed a little bit right there if you wet it down dry it off you can always warm this hot melt glue back up with that tip this is low melt so it won't warm up that much get a little bit back up in there that hot melt glue I fish these like I said if you're not confident in it make one up try it and make the others up with epoxy you can do that There we go. That's why I used the low melt so it don't stick all to that. Now, what are we going to do? Had it glued to there. Well, that's off center just a little bit because I'm trying to rush this, not doing it on the ground so you can see. Well, you can get just about anything up in there you want. And I need something to stuff up in there. And what should I use? Well, that's pencil grip, isn't it? Pencil's cheap. Now I'll make me up a nice little cocktail of hair. And some flash. I got green out. You might want to use some blue for this one. You could use some holographics. You could use anything. You can treat this popper body up like I mentioned before with a mixture of your Mod Podge and polycrylic. Look at Poppers 101. And then you take salt shaker with the tray underneath of it. You got the video you likely already came to that all right here's my mixture you can have it in blues now that these poppers come in four colors and four colors only a little more variety than the old model T you're gonna be using hot melt glue you 
use a low melt for this part. Wet your fingers on a sponge. Don't spit on them and like I do and put everything in. Unless you're gonna give you fly away to someone you don't like. That's half held up right there. Yeah, just a little bit more. You want to make these up, let them sit for a while and dry to get real good bond in there. But if you're using that real hot melt glue, you're going to get a little bit around this circle here, down in there a little bit. Have your trusty pencil handy, piece of wood dowel, in case you need it. That takes a lot of that glue down. Now if you want to add some feathers in there, you can have those ready. Put your little hot melt glue around here. What you want to do this step anyway. 